Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here with another video. Um, this is for Carolyn's Craft Tree and um, it is for sale. It is $30 US shipped. Um, if you are Canadian, I am not going to do the conversion for you other than tell you that it's about 30 cents to the dollar um, depending on the day. So you know what, you're going to have to look. Um, and kind of make the judgment on that yourself if you know if it's something you're interested in and you want to um, purchase I'm not trying to be rude I just like I said in my last one of my last videos um, I use US currency it is a currency that is just very used all over the world and it is simpler for me so with that said let's get started enough of the I don't know stuff um so carolyn's craft tree it is the easter kit i will link it below i use the kit and the ephemera pack in here um so it's a vintage hardcover book vintage trim on this down the spine and then i just added a little dangle um using they were like picture hooks with a brad and then I have metal corners on the side and a hitch post fastener and just an elastic for the closure. Um, there is some markings inside the book just due to the fact it's vintage. I left it, um, it there was tape on there. Um, anyways, so I have washi tape and then vintage music paper on the spine, bead dyed doily. I sewed the lace on. This back paper is not part of the kit. It's just something I have. And this is um, my own um, print that I made. But everything else, um, all the other digitals are part of Carolyn's kit. Um, a pocket with one of her images, vintage wrapping paper. Another one of her images. And then it has some lace on the top. Ledger paper. Some of the images. These ones are not backed onto anything. Some of the images are. Some of my coffee dyed paper that I made. Um, and then just a piece of ephemera that I added some washi to. This is another piece of ephemera. The images are so cute. And then I just put some washi on the envelope. I just clipped it in. So you can move it anywhere in the book. Follow this, you guys. I don't know what is happening. Camera does not want to focus. Um, oh, and this back page is also not part of the kit. So, so the, the backing pages are just different kits that I've had. Um, but, like I said, the other pages are part of the kit. And they're so pretty. The image is beautiful. Glassine bag. And then I put some ephemera in there, vintage music paper, and some rickrack, and then vintage writing paper on the back of that. I need to do more coffee dye paper like that. I really like it. Some more of her ephemera and some of the rickrack. Just a coffee dye tag that I made. Page is really pretty with the daffodils. Little fabric and trim flip just for fun. Doily is really pretty. Let's 
Good gracious, you think this is my first time videoing? It is just one of those days. Um, vintage wrapping paper. The vintage wrapping paper that I keep saying that, that I've come to the end of, I keep finding more of. So I believe this was the last small piece I, of it that I had. Um, this is just some paper from a notepad, and then there's um, another piece of this in there, and it is beet dyed. And then, of course, there's lace on the bottom with some paper tape. This is just vintage notebook paper that I picked up. Love the bunny. Oops. Envelope, very much Gale inspired. So, I don't know if these laces are vintage. This one, I believe, is vintage. I don't know about the pink one. Um... And then one of her images, and then some stamping. And then in the envelope is a music sheet. It is vintage. It ripped, so I just taped it. But I used, like, really old tape. So it has that look of what, you know, ripped pages would have. And I, on the back, I didn't. I used regular tape. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of fun. I like the look of, like, old tape. And that old tape you can write on. So... And then it's Room at the Cross for You. I love that song. I actually had this in the signature, but it got sewn in crooked, so I took it out, and that's why it's ripped. But anyways, another tag I made, just topped it with some different trims. The yellow stuff is vintage. I don't know about the white stuff. <laughs> um, okay, well, this is just um, coffee dyed paper journaling card with some fabric on it. More for journaling cards. Another one. This one's so cute. Oops, sorry. A little guest check. Ruffled piece of coffee dyed paper that I just sewed and stitched, uh, glued on. A little envelope, and there is a piece of ephemera in there, but I'm just gonna leave that. Um, another fabric flip. One thing that's really nice about cleaning your craft area is you think to use things that you haven't used in a long time. This is stuff I just picked up, but this other stuff I've had in my stash. Another one of those, um, coffee dyed strips that I just stitched up and then inside there is this image and then on this side there's this super cute image that I've added some coffee dyed lace to. More vintage music paper. It's just glued onto this page. Sorry, can't see. Little die cut I glued down. Flips out. Um, another image that comes with the kit. This is probably my favorite. This mason jar Easter bunny. Um, another collage page. with a glassine bag and I spilled some ink on there. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. But I just left it. And the library card, washi tape and just more washi. And then that is the back of the journal. So sorry for the very poor flip through. I don't know what is going on with my phone. Can't seem to get it at the right angle. But anyways, if you are interested, please leave a comment below. Like I said, $30 US shipped. Um, I will leave the links to her kit um, below. She also sells all kinds of other fun items. So if you're interested in that, please go check her out. Talk to you soon.